In the meantime, they have existing players that some Yankees fans would say, are they going to go? That would be Josh Donaldson. That would be Aaron Hicks. The name Glaber Torres has been thrown out in trade rumors. Jack, what are you hearing? Well, I know internally when the Yankees talk about Josh Donaldson, yes, there's a hefty salary attached to him. And yes, offensively, he had a poor season last year. But the Yankees also talk about what he gave them defensively. They felt that he should have won a gold glove last year. So the Yankees are not actively shopping Josh Donaldson, and they are not looking to move him. They are banking on his defense continuing to be as elite as it was last year, and they're hoping that the offense returns in some fashion. I just felt as if he was a hitter who went up there last year and was guessing too much and couldn't hit fastballs. Flash, I don't know if that returns when you're in your late 30s, but as much as everyone wants to play armchair GM and just shed a guy who's making $25 million with the thought that another team's going to pick up a chunk of that salary, Yankees aren't looking to move him. It, it gets to the point when you're an older player and you start seeing the fastball being thrown by you. Everybody says he's done, right? And we got to get rid of this guy. And you, Bob, you talked about the good defensive player that he is. Jack, maybe you mentioned that as well. I think this is worth giving Josh Donaldson a chance to regroup offensively. And if he can give you the defense he gave you last year and figure some things out, I think of older players like a guy like Mike Mussina, the year before he retired, was throwing 86 miles an hour. He went home, figured out how to reinvent himself. He ends up winning 20 games. So Donaldson's an interesting guy. I'm wondering about Aaron Hicks, if there's a market for him. And then Glaber Torres is a player who had a good year. Yes, it was up and down, not making a ton of money. You wonder if that veteran presence at second base even though he's still a young player that might be valuable to keep him around i think i have an opinion on both of those that is concurs almost with you hicks right now for the yankees is a 10 million dollar backup outfielder so i think if someone called the yankees about hicks i think they would definitely listen glaber torres is probably going to make nine million dollars next year and he showed in parts of this season, probably the first 100 games or so and the last 30 games or so, that he could still be a very productive player. However, remember, at the trade deadline last year, the Yankees talked to the Marlins about possibly moving him. I think in the right deal, something could happen, but I'm not just giving him away. I do think there's some value whether he stays with you or you do decide to execute a trade. And it's, it's funny, we're in that free agency period where there's still guys on the board, but as you've said, now you start thinking about trades and players that could be moved and, oh, Cashman might surprise somebody with a trade. Yeah, I think the trade market's going to start heating up. We just saw that today, right, with the Braves and the Brewers and a three three-team trade going on so you come back from the winter meetings you regroup a little bit you had conversations see if they can make some deals to get some things done